Shane McGee joining us now from Halifax Health in Daytona, where the most seriously injured fans were taken after the accident. Ryan, what is the latest you have on their condition? Well, well, the latest is good news. You know, it kind of the numbers seem to fluctuate depending on who you talk to and where. But here at Halifax Medical or Halifax Health, it was 12 people came here from the racetrack, seven directly tied to the accident itself. Two of those were considered very serious in critical condition. One we know was in lengthy surgery, but the good news is they have been upgraded. There are no more people here at Halifax that are with considered life-threatening injuries. So everyone's been upgraded from critical to stable. Brian, in the wake of today's accident, did NASCAR consider delaying the start of tomorrow's Daytona 500? No. I think there was some consideration about do we delay the start a little bit just based on the fact that the fencing has to be fixed. And as I speak, I'm just about a mile from the racetrack. was over there about an hour ago, and the welders are out, and they're putting the fence together. They were about halfway through the process as of about 1030. So the only reason the green flag will be delayed would be because the fence wasn't fixed. But Joey Chitwood, president of the Daytona National Speedway, was very adamant about the fact that we will go racing on Sunday, and we will do it on time. What about the notion of moving the fans back from to, uh, for tomorrow's race? The immediate reaction, again, from Joey Chilwood was, your ticket is where your ticket is, and people will be safe because, as he says, the protocols on Saturday worked. He says that the medical crews got there when they were supposed to. They got everyone out quickly, and they got them treated quickly, and the fence will be fixed. However, there will be... A little bit of a cry, I believe, and, and certainly I think it will come from the writers that cover this sport about moving the fans back. I can tell you firsthand, there's nothing better than standing up against that fence when those race cars go by, but there's nothing scarier either, and that's certainly going to be the case after today. Ryan, you mentioned the fence, and once it gets repaired, how can track officials know that it's completely repaired? How can they test it? Well, you're never going to know for sure. But I can tell you the fences are so much stronger than they were five years ago, certainly 10, 15 years ago. And unfortunately, it's because of other accidents, including, as you'll remember, when Dan Weldon was killed in the IndyCar finale just two seasons ago. All these fences are stronger. They're taller. They have more reinforcement than they did just a few years ago. Now they're going to have to go back. They will test these fences. Uh, at the University of Nebraska, Dr. Dean Sicking, who, who has come up with many of the safety advances since the death of Dale Earnhardt, they will crash everything they can into whatever fence they can come up with. And Joey Chitwood and, and the NASCAR officials say those will be installed here at Daytona. That's ESPN, the magazine senior writer Ryan McGee.